Beware if you and your dog go hiking a lot. Doctors and vets in Colorado say they've seen an increase in the number of rattlesnake bites this year, and one local dog park is off limits now for that very reason. Great Plains Dog Park on East Jewel Avenue in Aurora is quiet today. No barks or the sound of little paws anywhere. And if you decide to head over there, this is what you'll see. Temporary closure. Earlier this spring, two dogs were bitten by a rattlesnake at the park, so the Parks and Open Space Department decided to close the area until an evaluation on the existing conditions and wildlife concerns are thoroughly addressed. Rattlesnakes are poisonous, and they are truly poisonous and venomous to all people, unlike some things like uh, bees and wasps where you just have to be allergic to it. Now, an allergy can make it worse, but in any case that a rattlesnake bites, that is a very dangerous situation. Rattlesnakes can be found at various locations throughout the Denver metro area, not just here in Aurora. So it's important that you just be cautious for not only your pet, but yourself. The best recommendation we can give people is to be proactive about their safety and the safety of their pets. When you're walking in open space in known rattlesnake territory, stay on a regular path. It also helps if you have a walking stick because that vibrates on the ground that the snake can feel. Gives them some advance warning that you're there and it can get off to the side. Keep your pets on a leash in open space and a short enough leash that you can reel them in. Prairie rattlesnakes, which is most of what you'll see around here, are considered a non-aggressive species of rattlesnake. They will not attack, but if disturbed or threatened, they may defend themselves from people or pets. Most dogs are going to be curious about a snake, go up to it, and as such, they tend to get bitten in the nose, around the muzzle, the neck area, and those are really bad spots because the venom is close to the brain. Unfortunately, this is exactly what happened to Tibby. Tibby is a one-year-old beagle who was bitten twice on the face by a prairie rattlesnake. Fortunately, Tibby is doing much better now. He received immediate medical attention, which is essential if this happens to you or your pet. The animals need to be seen right away by a veterinarian. Um, even some of our milder rattlesnakes that, uh, that may not, the venom may not induce death, it will make them very, very sick. They need antibiotics, they need special care, and especially if they get bit in the face. That is a real bad thing because if they get bit in the face, they get so much swelling and they will actually swell, thro swell their throat closed. And that needs to be treated. They may need to have uh, additional oxygen given to them. They may have to have a tube in their throat so they can continue to breathe after being bit by a rattlesnake. Tibby's owner said the cost of anti-venom to treat your pet is about $800, so it definitely pays off to be cautious. Now, it's also important to note Aurora has another dog park that is still open and perfectly safe for your dogs to run and play. Grandview Dog Park is located at 17500 East Quincy Avenue in Aurora.